Mom, where are we? Target. Target. The best place on earth. Target. Are they even open right now? Yeah, they're open to like 11. Oh, really? Target's amazing. They're open to like midnight. Oh! <laughs> Super. Okay. 25 kicks. 25 what? You and your cracked phone. I know, right? It's awesome. No, it's not. It's if you don't know what shop kicking is, then you need to just download the app and figure it out. Just figure it out. Okay. Right. Hey, where is he first? Hardwood floor cleaner. Hardwood floor cleaner. Where did you see that? Oh. Hardwood, okay. Is the camera really going to be able to focus on that? Yeah, I did actually. <laughs> oh, see, see. I can't. Yeah. Okay. Yep. <laughs> Where, where are hardwood floor cleaners? Over this way. Bet. Boom. Found our first shop cake item. Except for, oh, it's a hardwood floor cleaner refill. Oh. Which it looks like they're out of. Dang. Is that it? No. No. Are you sure these are it right here? I can, that's a picture of it right here, Simon. Oh, Let's <laughs> not zoom in on No, we'd rather go to close one. Pretzel crisps. Pretzel Snack crisps. Snack factory and digestive chocolate. Alright, well, let's go find them. Let's check this aisle for the pretzel. Oh, found them. They, they were not far at all. <laughs> oh, yeah, getting the shop kit. I haven't done this in so long. I used to get like little gift cards all the time. Oh. Now you don't. What? See, this is why I haven't done it in a long time. Yikes. All right, that's annoying. When are you gonna get a new phone? Uh, whenever I win the lottery. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> Ooh. It's like I don't ask for a lot out of the world. Mom. To be able to afford. It's the forbidden fruit. Huh? It's the forbidden fruit. Oh my god, they don't like. Oh my god. Dang, Mom, you're so nice. What are we looking for? Oh, okay. Close. I can't yep. get shot kicked to work, so I give up. Okay, let's go. Okay. Boom. What? What do you like? I have those pants. Those ones? Yeah. Those ones? Eh, no. I, I, you not, don't like man-legging? Maybe. I don't know. I just... I don't wear a whole lot of shorts, so... It's so peaceful over here. It's like, what if we went to, if we went to Walmart? It'd yeah. be a completely different experience. Yeah, really. I feel like a mad These are the coolest money trunks ever. Why don't you get these? <laughs> <laughs> Dang. You don't like them? Uh, you know, they're, they're, they're a little eccentric. It does this right here. <laughs> Dang. Josh has one of these right here. And it looks good on him. Yeah. Good on these. I don't like jeans. Maybe, maybe pants like these. What, Mo? No. <laughs> It's just crusty. What about leprechaun shorts? I'd wear those. That's cool. I'd wear these as well. These, these blue. Some of these t-shirts are really good. And then other, I want this shirt so bad. Which one? This one, this Bob Ross one. <laughs> Ever make a mistake in life? Let's make them birds. Yeah, they're birds now. <laughs> Hograss is awesome. The fact that he's having like such a big comeback is hilarious. Well, when, like, <gasps> oh my god. It's a church. Yeah, but have you seen the one in the back? <laughs> Harry Potter. Harry Potter one. 
You burn the heck out of wood. Those. Those. Sweatpants meant to look like dress pants though. Oh, they really are kind of too. Oh my goodness. Zachary said that he wanted like a bunch of t-shirts and sweat combinations in like different shades of gray and he said 50 shades of gray. <laughs> so I was like, okay, that's what it's you are. about the right things nowadays. <laughs> Simon. <laughs> Yeah. No, it's not. It's not like you read it anyway. But how do you know? What? How do I know? Yeah, how do you know I did not? Tell me the names of the two main characters. Yeah. Okay. It's uh, like, because I did uh, read it, so, uh... Jack and Diane. from Greece. <laughs> Jack and Diane's not from Greece, you ignorant. It's Footloose or it's... It's not Footloose either. It's a musical. It's a song. But yeah, same thing. <laughs> I'd wear that. Oh, blue hoodie. You're you're just like really pushing the boundaries of style. I'm wearing a blue hoodie. Right oh, now. here's socks for you though. I'm not literally <laughs> looking at the photo right now. I know, like I said, you look like you're going to a hip hop funeral. I guess that's a navy blue hoodie and not black. Yeah. Here you go. These are the new undies I'm gonna buy Simon. Do 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 do. Star Wars. You know, I'd wear those, and oh. then I would like sag, and so you can see all no. of it. <laughs> You've sag your clothes, I swear. There you go. <laughs> no. I'm gonna buy him these underwear, never mind. Just like when he was a little boy, and I would buy him underoos with characters on them. I'm a trophy one. Like Ninja Turtles. Uh, oh, this is the sweater I was talking about. Okay. The one that Jamal has? No, not the one that Jamal has. This one I was at Target at one time by myself and I was like, Mom, I found some cool clothes. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, look at this shirt. This actually is kind of cool. I found like a cool sweater. That's the sweater I was talking about. It's like camo, but I didn't realize. I don't normally like camo, but I kind of like that. I'd wear these pants with that shirt. What about those shoes? Yikes. Complete your outfit. Uh, I don't know about that. <laughs> Let's go look at toys. Okay. You know, at what point are the dolls like too big? This one's over three feet tall. But I guess if you had like the Darth Vader and the Bell, they could like dance oh together. <laughs> They're huge. Yo, back up, Mom. Okay. <laughs> <It's solid. laughs> I know. I'm like, you're pretty tall yourself. They're huge. I'm just glad to see that they went back to the original Belle face instead of leaving it the creepy one they created after Emma Watson, which oh, didn't yeah, look yeah. like her at all. <laughs> With the huge forehead. Yes, it was like, what the hell? She doesn't have a melon head. Okay. So, I'm, a, I'm still a child. And, and these kind of toys are amazing. Like, being able to, like, walk or, like, drive your person around, it was the best thing ever. <laughs> <laughs> Toys are fun. Oh, this is a catapult too. This... <laughs> it is. It says adult assembly required. That's one of those toys that you're like building it for your kid and they're like, okay, let me play with it now. Hold on, I'm not done yet. I'm tweaking it. Let me just keep playing with it. <laughs> I had to count a bunch of these. <laughs> <That's why. laughs> Inventory. Oh. <laughs> I don't work at a Target, by the way. <laughs> or a Walmart or anything else like that. I've just had to count these in the past for inventory. <laughs> oh, yeah, they went with the old bell part, too. Yeah, that's what I was saying. I like the original bell. Does that Emma Watson have the creepy face? Oh, that one's an Emma Watson one. I know, but if her face was all depressed. Yeah, but it's not the like, same creepy. Oh, the see, even this one's a different. Yeah. Design. See, it doesn't have the huge forehead, and this is a much better looking Emma Watson one. It still has like the weird skinny string being in her arms, mm -hmm. but the face is much better. Oh it's my goodness, how many of them did they make? Hannes has a huge head. She does have quite a big head, yeah. It's like a brat doll. Oh, there's Beauty and the Beast down there. Look at all these Beauty and the Beast toys, it's crazy. What is so that? much Disney <laughs> stuff everywhere. What are those? <laughs> 
I feel like I'm at the in-character princess shop at Hollywood Studios. Oh god. Sing along with your favorite song from Frozen. <laughs> you... Let it go! Let it go! <laughs> you wanted something that turned on. Here, I'm gonna activate all of those. <laughs> no, don't. Don't activate all of them. That's so bad. So bad. What a performance! <laughs> You're so good, Simon. You sang it just like her. <laughs> that was so loud. <laughs> I miss Play-Doh. Don't you miss Play-Doh? I do. Why can't we do Play-Doh It's like now? we should get some Play-Doh. <laughs> and just like set up the black table in the living room and just sit down in front of it and just play with Play-Doh. <laughs> Luna would probably try to eat it. <gasps> Cabbage Patch Kids. I wanted one when I was little so much. Cabbage Patch Dolls are the best. It's <laughs> my face you just hit. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> That's hard plastic, you know? it's not, not, it's not like, I know, it just hit me in the face. Could you imagine your like baby just like hitting you? <laughs> yeah, I don't think you'd get that for a baby. Get it for a... Don't, but it's a baby. Maybe they could connect on a spiritual level. <laughs> get it for an older girl. Older than a baby. But you can always practice changing diapers. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You know, because they have like the baby alive that actually like pees itself and everything. Like they have all these dolls that do all these things. Yeah, try me. That's creepy. Oh, <laughs> do it again. Do it again. <laughs> baby go bye bye. Press your belly. <coughs> It's like Troy. <laughs> noodles, noodles. <laughs> Happy Thursday. Um, this is our errand day of the week, and you actually got a little more um, from last night because Simon and I went to Target, and he really wanted to vlog it, which is cool. Which means that he's stepping up and wanting to like participate in this little thing that I'm trying to turn into a family thing. Um, we are at the Entenmann's Bakery Outlet because they're awesome. They have good bread for cheap. And we're going to stop and get some hot dog buns and some sandwich bread and it's going to be cool. Yeah. And this is why I love the Entenmann's Outlet. We got some Takis for Simon, some little cupcakes for us, three things of ballpark hot dog buns some potato bread, Arnold potato bread, some whole wheat bread, and some Thomas pizza bagels to try. So we got all that bread and stuff for $8.75. And the funny thing about all that bread that we just got for $8.75 is that we literally could have gotten cheaper bread. Like a loaf of Sara Lee bread is only 69 cents and those were a dollar, but you know, we wanted that kind. But still, if you go to like Publix, it's like three fifty a freaking loaf. So awesome. So we just ran into Target like we do every week, and I was going to the bathroom while Courtney was out loading the car, and I saw a Prius just like ours, like pulling into the lot and turning in, and I was just like, oh, he left, he left me, and then he felt guilty and decided to come back. <laughs> Can't live without me. <laughs> so yes, our weekly errand day is taking us to Costco next. Woohoo! But yeah, Courtney thought I wanted to take the bus, but no. <laughs> it's not that bad. It's not. It just takes too long. Yeah. Like I don't mind riding the bus. Like Orlando has a good bus system. They go to a lot of places. You can pretty much get anywhere you need to on the bus. The problem is, is that the transfers are forever. So like, it could take you two and a half hours to get somewhere that's really not that far away because you have to transfer buses and you're waiting like 45 minutes to an hour just to get on the next bus. And that's the, that's the problem. I wish they could figure out how to make the rides not so long, like you don't have to wait so long for a transfer because that's what causes so many issues. It drives me crazy. Okay, so we're on our way to Costco for our like errands and stuff, but we are doing a cola taste testing video and we stopped in at Walmart to grab like a couple of more two liters of different colas 
because okay so my middle son Zachary he loves soda like it's disgusting how much he likes soda and we all really really like soda but I'm constantly trying to get on people about how much they drink because it's so freaking bad for you but I figured a really fun and expensive like vlog video to do would be like a cola taste testing video where we're gonna like line up a bunch of sodas and they have to try to guess the brand, but I also want them to score them to see which ones they actually like the best. Because I, I think it's gonna be hilarious if like they vote like the dollar store stars and stripes soda or something as like their favorite. It's gonna be hilarious. It's gonna be fun. But we stopped into Walmart really quick to grab a couple of sodas on our way to Costco. All right, another detour on our way to Costco. We're gonna go into Publix really quick because I want to get um, their brand of cola to add to our little taste testing contest. Publix, there's one on every corner. Publix, where shopping is a pleasure. Okay, so I know that I'm old, I'm almost 40, I'm gonna be 40 this year, and I'm getting out of touch with like the younger generation. But there's a couple of things about cell phones that I gotta, just talk about all right so number one do young people know that people used to actually hold phones up to their ears to speak into them like I want to know if there's gonna be if there's like an entire generation of people that have no idea that people used to talk on the phone like this because now they all talk on the phone like this and it's like that's not even like I, I don't know, it's annoying because now everybody has to listen to your conversations for one thing. But yeah, so people used to talk on the phone like this. Apparently now you do it like this. And it's stupid, but whatever. That's just me, I'm getting old. My other beef about cell phones is that we've become so attached to them that we stand in long lines in the bathroom because people are sitting on the toilet using their phone. It's just like, there's a time and a place, people, but literally, and it happens at work all the time, and I get so angry because we only have a limited amount of time to run in to use the bathroom, and people will literally be sitting on the toilet using their phone and not actually going to the bathroom. So, while I was in the Publix bathroom, like at work, I get it, you're trying to like procrastinate from going back to work, so you spend a little bit of time messaging people on your phone, and everybody's guilty of that sometimes. But, okay, you're at the grocery store, like, get in and get out of the bathroom. But there was somebody sitting in the stall with her pants around her ankles. She was clearly just sitting on her phone because, A, you know, no bathroom noises. B, you could hear the swoop and whoosh of, like, sending and receiving messages every two seconds on her phone. Three people used the stall next to her, including myself. And when I was gone, she was still sitting there just sending messages. And she was in there when I got in there. Like, get off the damn toilet. Use your phone somewhere else. Oh my God. Why, Am I, I'm probably the only person on the earth that's like going crazy because of this. Like, cell phones are cool. Like, it's neat that we're so connected all the time, I guess. Like, but you don't need to be. Get off the dang toilet. There's other places that you can sit and use your phone. <sighs> but I guess maybe it's because I'm getting old because there's probably like 10 million 20 year olds who are gonna see this video and be like, go get over it, grandma. Right? <laughs> I don't know, it's just so <laughs> I was just telling her this, the saying that's been around for long before cell phones about sh taking a shit and get off the pot. <laughs> it's like shit or get off the pot, exactly. <laughs> yes, good point. That existed a long time ago and I, that probably existed because people like shared outhouses or whatever, you know, it's probably that old of a saying. Mm -hmm. Yes, exactly, people. I'll try to be a little bit more PC. Crap or urinate or get off the pot. Don't sit there and just use your phone. <laughs> it's like, I don't get it. Okay. We just finished up our shopping at Costco. Having a little parking lot pizza really quick before we drive away. We still gotta go to the library, but then we're gonna go home and get all the drinks in the fridge. Oh, I got food on my face, check it out. <laughs> awesome, I was saving it for later. It's so good, you know? Costco can really suck you in with the samples, so you gotta be careful what you try. For sure. Uh, got us with the bread today. Yes, they got us with the bread today. Like, we went and bought bread at the Entenmann's Bakery, but then they had these like fresh country loaf bread 
with butter and oh my god like sucked me in because the packages were still warm oh no, they were so good and i want to dip bread in oil anyway so got it but uh um yeah so we're having a little slice before we head out it's kind of cloudy out looks like it's gonna start raining get some gas yeah we need to get gas the gotta library. go library get some sodas in the fridge because we're gonna do a soda drinking contest tonight so yeah pretty fun day just kind of panning around so that you can see a little bit of this part of Orlando. So if you're moving here or if you vacation here or you're just coming and you're just curious what non-touristy areas of Orlando look like, well this is pretty much it. This is just one of the Costco's up in Winter Park. So anyway, that's where we are. We're in Winter Park. So kind of Orlando, like north of Orlando. but. Yeah, kind of industrial a little bit back there, but there's Costco. All right, so we had some, we just watched Medea Halloween, which was pretty dang funny. Um, I like the Medea movies, they're silly, they're bad acting, but they're good lines, it's it's just funny. So we just watched Medea Halloween, we'll probably watch another movie later tonight. Um, but right now we're going to get ready to do the like soda taste testing thing that I was telling you about. The country that I'm using tonight to say goodbye in the, is Bolivia. The main language there is Spanish. However, um, the second most widely spoken language there is Quechua. And um, sounds hard. it is kind of hard. <laughs> so I could just say in Spanish, but since they do have one of their indigenous languages that's still kind of holding on a little bit, I am Tepe going to say goodbye. Means uh, until we meet again.